Oh, two more things. And more things. Raise out six. Out six. And keep working on it. Lakers two. Raise out. Oh, good shot. Welcome back. We're now in Yukon, home to our Air Thunder junior reporter, who you'll be meeting in just a short while. You know, it takes a dedicated team effort to bring the most success on the basketball court, and the same type of team effort is necessary to broadcast Thunder games into your home. In this segment, we want to take you behind the scenes for looks at what goes into broadcasting Thunder games from the Ford Center. Welcome to a day in the life of Thunder Broadcasting. It all starts with a morning meeting. What does DA bring? Because this should be kind of fun to talk about tonight. That's tired. Thunder Broadcasting has crews at both team shoot-arounds, gathering interviews and footage that will be used on both broadcasts. At the same time, over at the arena, the mobile television truck that puts the game on TV is arriving. The truck is a traveling television studio. It has all of the equipment to make the game you see every night on Fox Sports Oklahoma or on Thunder TV possible. The crew starts setting up all the cameras, lights, microphones, and monitors. In a few short hours, the Fort Center is transformed into a state-of-the-art HD television and radio broadcast facility. The team behind the team helps paint the picture, incorporating dozens of components to bring you the action from the world's greatest athletes. When it's over and the last highlights are shown and the last player is interviewed, it's time to pack it up and get ready to start all over again, either at the Ford Center or on the road. I like the entrance. I like the entrance coming down from the ceiling. That was very original, I thought. Rumble with the drums rumbling. Oh, I think he's great. I love the story behind him. It's awesome. I think he's cute. Is he single? I like bisons. The whole innuendo with thunder and rumble, I think that's pretty cool. I, I think it'll be a good thing. Rumble's debut even made national news. He was featured on ESPN's Top 10 Plays of the Day, a thundering two hooves up for degree of difficulty. I think the bison is great. I think it's a great story. I think Rumble's a great name, and uh, I think we're going to enjoy it a lot. Rumble the bison! How many mascots have you seen? Oh no, the dance of the close one so far. Rumble isn't going to restrict his activities to the Ford Center, though. The day after his debut against the Hornets, he was out introducing himself to the rest of the community. Love basketball. I looked toward the noise and I just saw the bison. With, and then all I saw was confetti. Such a memorable event in a child's life to be able to meet a player. Many of them were getting high fives and pictures with the players. Rumble the Bison came running in. And it was really, really exciting. Such a wonderful opportunity to have the players in the building and showing the importance of reading. Gets the kids really excited in a way that teachers cannot do. Hello, I'm Luke Swanson, Air Thunder's junior reporter for this Thunder game. And we're about to witness the Oklahoma City Thunder take on the Sacramento Kings for the second time. And earlier today, I got to go into the locker room to see how the players get pepped up before the game. How you doing, man? I'm good. You're not nervous, are you? Oh, man. A little bit. You know. say no. Whenever you bend down, do you hear elevator music? <laughs> <laughs> Who has the smelliest socks? Who has the smelliest socks? Just looking at our guy's locker room, I would have to say Kevin Durant. He definitely has the messiest locker. Who has the dirtiest locker? That's a question on all our minds. Um, probably Desmond. <laughs> like ham sandwich? I like ham. Ham turkey. You like ham? Yes, sir. We're up here in Loud City, the home court advantage for the Thunder. This is home to some of the craziest and the loudest fans in the entire NBA. 
Oilers at 116 and the Kings are at 113 with 0.3 seconds left. Looks like the Thunder's got it wrapped up in a nice neat little package, but I've seen stranger things happen. I don't know. I really don't know. 0.3 seconds. Kings, King. Something happens. Like, oh, something happens. So that crowd's cheering, so that's good. Oklahoma City Thunder comes out on top. Brent Weber, look out. Coming for your job.